Hi, it's Jo here from Numeracy Ninjas. Check out the new Numeracy Ninjas Try Hexaflexigan. A hexaflexigan is a hexagon, but the amazing thing about it is it has three faces. When you fold and flex your hexaflexigan, it will reveal a third hidden face that previously you couldn't see. In this video, I'm going to show you and your students how you can put together your very own trihexaflexigon to keep. If you haven't already, go and get yourself a download of the sheet, print it off, and I'll see you back here in a minute, and I will show you how to make your very own trihexaflexigon. After you've cut out your trihexaflexagon, you need to start to fold it. Firstly, fold it in half along the length. It's important to be as accurate as you can be when folding it, as this will help later on. Next, you need to fold each of the triangles. Fold it over one way, then turn it over and fold it the other way. Do this along the length of your flexagon. Now it's time to make the hexagon shape. Turn it so that the blue ninja is to the right, count along to the fourth triangle and fold this triangle underneath, count along three triangles and fold underneath again. Then lift the end so it is sitting on top of the blue ninja. Turn it over and it should show the face of the Grand Master Ninja. You will have two blank white triangles showing. You need to glue these two together to complete the face of the Grand Master Ninja. Now it's time to flex your trihexaflexagon. It may help to fold the lines again. To flex it, push three of the fold lines together and gently pull apart the top. If it doesn't work the first time, you may need to fold the other three lines together. Lastly, you will need to glue down the final tabs to complete your trihexaflexagon. It's now complete, well done. Try experimenting folding it in different directions and you'll notice each of the three faces has two different configurations. I hope you have fun with your trihexaflexagon and thank you so much for supporting Numeracy Ninjas.